Good evening everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is half past nine on the 7th of November and I'm going to be taking you through a West Bank car statement. Two things that I want to show you. I want to show you the amortization, which is also available by the way on the FNB and RMB banking apps. Um, but if you just have the West Bank um, purchase and you're just keen to see um you know what the amortization schedule look like you can actually look at look at that um on the uber home loans um you know platform simply because uber is also it's a home loan platform but it's also you know it's just a loan so you can just put in the same uh, numbers that you have for a loan and everything should calculate as you know the same so what we're going to be doing is i'm going to be doing that and then i'm also going to be basically showing you um I'm also going to be basically showing you how much interest you've actually borrowed over your term. So you can follow along using your statement. I've tried to remove everything that's an identifier here um, so that everything is generic uh, just for my, you know, safety and peace of mind. So this is why I cut it off and I'm not showing the actual statement. Okay, let's get started. Right. So my original capital balance is 229,639. My installment amount is 4,000. And the frequency of installment is monthly. Date commenced 08, 20, oh, sorry, 23rd April or August, rather, 2022. Expiry date then. Um, original term is 72 months. Number of ter uh, remaining installments 70. Um, zero for uh, arrears, zero for residual or balloon. Uh, outstanding capital is 223. The advance amount is money that I've basically put in extra into the account. So... And then a rear amount would have been there. So it's positive. And then actual contract balance you'll see is 275. So the 275 is higher than the outstanding capital amount by about 51,000. That is the actual amount in interest that I'm going to be paying over my 72 months, which is your six years. Payments received 4.3, interest 1.2, fees levied is that. And my installment due amount is 4,000 again, just like that. Um, advance amount minus 426 my plus a rear amount so if you owe anything they would add it onto the next installment but i don't so they've subtracted the amount that i've prepaid and then the amount due is 3.6 but because they're still going to be debiting um the the, the 4000 on the 20th of this month i'm still going to have this advance amount until you know a future time where i'm like okay i want to either you know ask them to debit a, a bit less or I want to use that money for something else, or to to have it count up to have it count towards my, my my next installment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these amounts and then I'm going to put it on the Uber Home Loan, and then we're going to see where that takes us. Okay, so this is the Uber Home Loan calculator. I'm going to try and make it nice and small. Right, so I'm going to put it here so that we're all on the same page. Oh, this is going to be a bit tricky. Okay, so I managed to get it side by side. Hopefully it doesn't move again. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the amount of, which is the outstanding capital balance, right? So that is 223,897. That's what you're seeing there, 223,897. We're going to ignore decimals. Total or number of months of the loan. So I have 70 months number of remaining installments. You'll excuse me there. So that's why I've got my 70 over there. So my interest rate is prime minus 2.5 and prime, oh sorry, prime minus 2.5 years. And the current interest rate is 9.75. So prime minus 2.5 is your 7.25. That's what I have there. And then I'm going to, you know, recalculate. So what you're seeing is the 51338. And that is what I'm saying is the difference between my actual contract balance and my outstanding balance. I have a calculator here. This is where I calculated it. So all I did is I said, um, what is that? 275, 374. And I subtracted the 223. 897 equals 51477 so that that amount is very you know close to that amount and what that basically is is the amount that you know west bank would want me to settle so it would be my settlement amount 
And the reason that they have it like this is because I have agreed over the next six years to pay back the interest of 51000 And that's why they would add that to that amount. So it's not only the outstanding capital amount, but it's the 50000 in addition to that, which is what I've signed that I'm going to be paying over the next couple of months. So that is the amount that I am contracted to, right? Okay, so what you'll see is you'll see that my bond repayment, or sorry, not my bond repayment, my car repayment, ought to be 3932, where interest portion is 1.3, the capital reduction is 2.6, and my balance due amortizes like that up until, you know, I'm done with my car, a month 70 from now, at 3.9, where 24 rand goes towards, you know, the interest, 3.9 goes towards the capital, and I get the car log. And the car's mine, it's no longer financed. Now you'll see that there's a difference between the 3.9 here and the 4001, which is what I actually pay. I'll show you what that difference is, right? It's written somewhere here. So it's the fees levied of 69 Rand. So what you're basically seeing is fees levied of, of 69, which is basically the 69 Rand plus the 3932. 3932 that this says it's preparing. So that is the 4001 that is the installment. So every month I pay 69 Rand in fees and I pay 3932 Rand towards my loan. That 3902 Rand is split in this way where 1.353 is spent towards the interest portion, which is the 51,000 in total over the safe six years. And 2.6 is the capital reduction, reducing my balance in the next statement to that amount. And then above this, they add the 69 Rand, which is what you'll see here, which is the fees levied. Um, so it's nice and simple on a, you know, a West Bank statement. It's easy to read. Um, if anyone has any questions, let me know. So I actually got my car in March, but it was, you know, financed by MFC. And then I moved to, to I moved it to West Bank and that's where... That's where, oh, that's why actually I only have 70 months in. I should have been, I think, two two more. I should have been at like month 68 or something. So what they did is the car initially was about 240 and then I paid off like two or three months previously and then they renewed it and then it became a new loan, also just under 72. So it's sort of a restart. So just be mindful of that, that if you do move finance houses, you pay that initial fee of about 1.4, if I'm not mistaken, and then it resets to either 72 60 48 months whatever your agreement is with the bank uh but please let me know if there are any questions um this is a nice little short video to the point just showing you how you can read you know your 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 car statement so that you have a better understanding of what's happening i know i didn't quite understand the actu actual contract balance when i first got my contract but i asked i asked my banker i asked the west bank you know liaison and that's how I got my answers. And then Uber calculator just gives me peace of mind that, you know, they calculate my installment, right? I don't know. I like to double check. I don't know. I don't know if that's weird or anything, but I just like to double check that we're on the same page. So we are. From um, so this is the statement. And if there's anything that you're missing or not understanding, please let me know. Uh, I like to check. So I just like to double check that the amount here is the amount that I was expecting to pay. So this is just a checkbox exercise for my, on my side. So that's the 69 and that's the 3.9 that we saw in the amortization tool. Let me know if there's anything, you know, you're not understanding. I, I think I, I struggled a bit with the actual contract balance at the beginning, but uh, I've played around enough in Auto Trader to see sort of the interest uh, payment, and then they would show you the interest portion. So that's where I played around with the term when I was taking out my car because you can increase the term. Let me actually show you. If you increase the term, then you you can decrease the term, which increases the interest. So if I had the same loan, but I had this over, let's say, 60 months, so if I took it over five years rather, then you'll see that it's just calculating. All right. So over 60 months, which is five years, you'll see that I pay less interest. So 8,000 Rand less interest, but my installment would be higher. So for me, it was like, it's 12 months, it's 8K. Um, I'm okay with, you know, stomaching that. So I'd rather take the maximum term, which is a 72 years. And there's not much difference actually between an installment of 4.4 and, you know, 4,000 flat. Um, but at the same time, that's 400 that I could put to better use today. 
and if anything i'm just going to stick to putting more money in so this advance amount of 426 look i put in that amount because i wanted to see if i could actually transfer it again because for a home loan you can transfer money out of your excess bond but for waste bank i found that on my banking app i can't actually transfer the money out i can only transfer in so that is actually just a test case i haven't actually decided how much money i want to throw extra and i haven't actually decided if i want to pay more towards my car or more towards my bonds um it's just something that's still at the back of my mind right now i'm just chopping my money uh but uh, it's 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 something that i was playing around with so i just wanted to see what happens to that advance amount and can you access it in the future uh it turns out you can't it turns out you can't on the waste bank or on the fmb app you can't move money out um if you send it to your waste bank access facility it just stays there whereas for a bond you're able to move it between you and your current account and you know the, the bond account so that was what i was testing there but if at any point in time i do want to sort of reduce the term then that's how i'd rather do it than going back and having them re-alter you know the the the, the, the agreement that we had initially but yeah if you have any questions let me know i've got an mfc uh auction video that i think you'll really enjoy i'm gonna link it here i've also got a waste bank let's see how much you can get approved for which i think you'll really enjoy as well if you have any questions about these or any other money hacks let me know happy to help and help you to engage share like subscribe all those cute things i'm out